I'm a guy that's 26. Each day I build with bricks. I like Star Wars plays so how I'm rich boy J. Hello boyos, Rich Boy J here back here with another video and today I'm going to present to you my haul from Brick World Chicago 2022. I honestly believe this is the best haul I've ever had from a Lego convention and it means a lot to me. I think typically whenever I go to these conventions, um, I don't really do too much. I don't spend too much money. Typically, it's just the case that I've been, you know, preparing a large scale build leading up to the convention. And once I get to that point, I just don't want to spend any more money on Lego. But that wasn't the case this time. This time, you know, I rolled in with Camino, And while I have spent a bit of money on Camino, it's not like I'm so far into the build that I've just uh, really cashed out on it, so to speak. And I also told myself I really did want to treat myself at this convention. So I have some pretty awesome things to show you guys some things that I honestly never thought I would like go out and buy and some things that really surprised me so before we get into today's video I did want to give a quick shout out to my guy Ty I met Ty at Brick Rodeo this past weekend he came over to my mock and we got to just chat about pretty much all things Lego Star Wars and I have to admit I had such a blast getting to talk to you Ty he's a pretty young builder and he did show he is uh, Hoth mock to me and had um, some pretty cool clone elements um, got the 501st troops in there and some battle droids and uh, he has a lot of promise for such a young builder and the dude clearly knows his Star Wars and his Lego Star Wars so keep building Ty you have so much potential man and I really can't wait to see what you come up with next uh, let's go ahead and get the parts out of the way I got these parts from my guy Aaron aka 327 bricks um, I want to say I I think I bought them I kind of bought them I only say that just because um, initially the plan was for me to buy these parts but then Aaron literally took like at least a hundred dollars of parts from my house to build some stuff that he wanted to work on while he's here in the US. Uh, so it might end up being a trade or it might end up being the case that he actually owes me uh, for some parts, which is not the hugest of deals because I still owe him a bunch of money for a whole bunch of other stuff. But uh, pretty happy with this parts haul right here. This is a bunch of stuff that um, is just not super common to get um, in bulk quantities here in the US, at least lately. I'm really happy, especially with these dark bluish gray sandwich tiles. Those are going to be super helpful, probably with Camino. Um, if not Camino, then I'm sure any other Star Wars project I work on. I uh, got these printed tiles. This is the Cafe Corner printed piece. Also pretty cool. Um, also these three by three circular tiles. Mm, love this piece. This is a really nice piece. And then of course the new ish one by five plate got this in white. Um, I'm just trying to bolster my collection of these one by five plates for sure. Next up, we have some more parts. I got these from my guy, Alex, AKA dogma 54. Got some of these one by three wood, uh, tiles and dark tan, really cool piece, really useful piece. I had a bunch of the one by fours, which I think are either in dark orange or maybe medium nougat, but I didn't have many of the one by threes. So cool to have a good amount of these now. Uh, and then of course the newer two by six tiles in light bluish gray. So happy to finally have some of these in my collection. I think I only had these in white so far. So to get some in light bluish gray, you know, for a Star Wars builder is super cool. So um, yeah, shout out to Alex for these. Next up, we got some shiny boys. Yes, these are some chrome Lego pieces. These are actually genuine chrome pieces. They aren't, you know, pieces that were other colors that were uh, chrome on the aftermarket. But these are, if you couldn't realize, uh, from the UCS Naboo Starfighter. This is not every piece from the Naboo Starfighter. I'm still missing, uh, I'm sorry, every chrome piece from the UCS Naboo Starfighter. I do still need the smaller cones that go on top of these, as well as the wedge plates. So that I'm missing one more of this guy right here. Uh, but this is a great start i honestly had no intention on really ever getting these i think if i did want to rebuild that navu starfighter i probably just would have gotten someone who chromed um other colored parts uh which would have been considerably cheaper than these but i found such a good deal at the convention and uh, i just couldn't pass it up i know my guy colzo christensen uh did actually get all the pieces he needed and i just bought whatever chrome pieces from the navu starfighter were left over from this particular seller uh, and this is actually pretty cool, honestly. Um, I, you know, made an effort earlier in this year to collect all the like play sets from Star Wars Episode Two, but the the one that I was missing, you know, technically if you count it, was that UCS Navu Starfighter. Uh, but now I, I got these for such a good price that I'm gonna buy the rest of them that I need, and I'll be able to, you know, actually have the UCS Navu Starfighter. Uh, while it is unfortunate that that set has just gone up so much in price. I don't know, probably because Amanda, probably just because Lego Star Wars in 2022 is abysmal. Um, 
I, I mean that just in terms of prices. I think the sets have actually been quite good this year. Uh, but what that means is just, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and part it out. And this is probably the cheapest way to get the set, you know, other than trying to find someone selling the thing complete because that's just going to be an insane price. And then I'll just get some third party stickers. But uh, it is cool to have these parts. It's even cooler to have them as genuine Lego pieces. And uh, you guys will probably be seeing an actual UCS Nabu Starfighter in my collection very soon. Now we'll move on to custom parts. I picked up these printed towels from Eclipse Graphics. Shout out to them for these. Uh, these are basically just two by fours uh, printed. Got this uh, Force Awakens posted right here. Got the Last Jedi posted right here. And uh, these are actually cool because they're like Legoized versions of the posters. These aren't just like, you know, the realistic version of the poster printed on Lego, uh, but it has like actual minifigures and such, which is, I don't know, just makes it consistent with like the Lego universe. And of course, got this uh, rainbow towel right here. It was Pride Month when I got these, so had to represent for all those people who are celebrating and who just wanna be able to love who they wanna love. So uh, lots of support for that community and uh, also <laughs> lots of support for the Star Wars community, even though you guys can drive me crazy at times. The next thing I have to show you guys is the Axidroid pile. The reason this is the Axidroid pile because these are all things that Axidroid gave me. So starting off, he gave me these custom stickers. This is his like YouTube logo with Axidroid on it as well as this um, like nice sticker with Django Fett from Lego Star Wars video games on it. Still not quite sure where I want to put either of these. I want to <laughs> come up with somewhere special to put them because they're such nice looking stickers, but I definitely appreciate it getting these from you, Axie. He also was so, so kind to hook me up with some of the brick arms, uh, jointed robot arms, which are going to be super useful for me and my Camino mock. I think this is uh, such a cool product, something we've really been missing. Uh, if I had to pitch an idea out there for myself, now that we have have these I'd love to get um, not even just articulated legs but even if we could get like molded legs and different poses like running poses for droids I think that would really just put you know mocks with droids up on that next level and you'd be able to give them some even more dynamic poses with these bent arms so uh, this is really cool I actually went ahead and took some out of here and I did some kind of creative poses with them and actually show those off to you guys right now uh, this is kind of what I'm working with for my uh, droid poses here you can see there's just some really cool stuff you can do with these arms man there's just so much so much cool stuff the quality is great you know it matches up with the uh, droid torsos and and just colors and plastic material very well and like I said these will 100% be making an appearance in Camino uh, and then finally I have to show you guys uh, a custom sig fig that Axie made for me this thing is just so freaking cool so uh, it's no secret that Lego does not have very many options when it comes to my hair and it's pretty much been that way from the start even before i had my hair locked up like there just wasn't very many options you know the one i have now was just kind of the, the best compromise i can make but uh, i was never really fulfilled with it but um axie has just created this awesome like headband dreadlock mold uh he made this for me a while ago which is why maybe the hair is a bit shorter than mine is um even right now but this is just so freaking perfect like i love this so freaking much he even has a custom boyo chain that he's got me rocking got the signature rich boy j beard and i'm honestly seriously considering about just making this my like official like sig fig and the one that i have on my like youtube profile and whatnot uh you guys let me know is it, is it about time to convert it like my current like profile picture is <laughs> definitely not what i look like uh, especially in terms of my hair and I think this is uh, much closer to it. So let me know what you guys think about that. And before I bring this to a close, uh, one thing I did want to mention was uh, this haul was originally supposed to be a part of my like Brick World retrospective video. But then once I finished uh, filming most of the parts that I realized that was going to be a really long video. So I figured why not go ahead and split the haul up with this. Um, but um, one person who was noticeably missing from getting a shout out in that video was unfortunately Axidroid. And really only because I planned on talking a bit about my experience with him once I showed off these things that he gave me. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now. Uh, Axidroid is just freaking awesome. This dude is, you know, obviously a great builder. If you haven't seen his stuff, go check it out. I'll link uh, his channel in the description or one of the top comments. I don't know. We'll see. It'll be somewhere below this video once this thing gets uh, upgraded. Once this thing gets uploaded. But I have to say, it was just so incredible getting to meet him in person. And um, it, it was kind of weird, only in a way that, like, 
I, I've enjoyed having conversations with him through Discord or through like Instagram text or just, you know, chat, YouTube comments, whatever. And seeing him in person was just that that exact same experience but in person like he is every bit is awesome to talk to in person as he is online uh which was super nice i, I can't even understate how appreciative i am that you know he was able to come uh, across the the ocean and come hang out with us at brick world and the fact that i get to see him one more time this year at uh, Brick Fair, Virginia is just so awesome to me. So I don't want you to think that like I forgot about you or anything. Actually, you were of course one of my favorite people in the community, and um, I want to say you're an up and coming builder, but I feel you've kind of already ascended to that level. I mean, you have you know your Rakondamok, which is just you know gone pretty much viral on YouTube, which is just incredible. I'm so happy for you. There, there's not a, a nicer you know better guy that that could have happened to so um all the best to you i can't wait to see your channel grow even more and um, i hope that i can be some meaningful part of that along the way continue with the theme of figures continuing with the theme of figures let's show you this zeb figure that i got from my guy francis um it honestly is just such a sad state of affairs that the Zeb figure is so expensive, but my guy Francis hooked me up with a great price. Um, I did not have to pay 72 for it, thank God. Uh, but this is a really cool figure, you know, Zeb from Rebels. And um, as far as I can tell, no cracks under the arms, which is um, quite rare to see on this figure. This thing is super prone to cracking on the sides. I say that as I'm moving his arms around. I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop moving his arms around. Um, but yeah, super cool figure. This is definitely one I needed for the mini fig wall. And I'm glad to have him in my collection. So once again, shout out to Francis for hooking your boy up and uh, making his contribution to the mini fig wall. Now this group of figures, um, I feel so bad because um, a person at the convention came up, introduced himself to me and gifted me these figures. So we got the Vader, um, the Vader style, the Rebel style Darth Vader DJ from the Poly Bag, a Stormtrooper, and then we got a Geonosian with the wings. And um, I feel so bad because I cannot remember the name of this person. So if you're the person who gave these to me, uh, please comment in the comment section. I hope you're watching this right now. Uh, but I am super appreciative uh, for this little figure haul. Like it's always super cool when you know anyone just comes up and gives me things, especially when it's someone that I've you know never even met in person. Like when that can be our first encounter, I'm always extremely appreciative um, of when you guys are just kind enough to actually give me gifts. Like I honestly just can't put into words how freaking awesome that is. Um, but these are just really cool figures that I I'm glad to um, add into my collection. So once again, um, whoever you are, please put it in the comment section and um, I will give you your proper credit because I really did appreciate you giving these to me. Now let's talk about some figures who I do know the names of the people who gave them to me. Uh, shout out to Mike and Mike Productions and Will Bricks Production for these figures. Um, Micah is the one who gave me these custom decal like uh, clones, and he had a huge bag of them. He was pretty much just like, you know, pick which ones you want, which was super cool. Like, I honestly had a hard time deciding which ones I wanted, but I opted for these guys just because, you know, they're the updated style like clone prints. And uh, I don't know, it just, you know, these are like the, I guess, two of the higher um, level clones that we don't have. So I got the Lieutenant as well as the Captain and I can line these guys up with my Commander. And all I need is a Sergeant and I got all the ranked P1 clones. So these are super cool figures. Um, this is, I think these might be like the first decaled figures I have in my collection. And they do not look bad at all. They actually fit in quite well with the other clones, so super happy about those. And then we got the Weequay and the First Order Officer um, for my guy, Wool Brick Productions, who was super awesome to me. I'm sure you know, if you go to his channel, you'll see quite a few clips of me. Like he uh, had quite a few questions for me, and um, I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure I ended up in his vlog. So make sure you go check out both of these guys' channels. They were super awesome to meet in person, super kind. And um, they also came bearing gifts, which, you know, like I just said, I'm always super appreciative for. So thank you so, so much, guys. Now these probably have to be the figures I was most excited to leave the convention with. And this is my Knights of the Old Republic haul from Big Kid Bricks. So um, this was just a super fun experience. Just figuring out not necessarily figuring out but like when i was at their booth like you know i think i saw i'm trying to think which one of these i think i saw darth scion first i was like oh cool darth scion maybe i'll go ahead and pull the trigger to buy that 
Um, and then I think I found Malik. I was like, ooh, do I want Malik? Um, and then I found out he was doing like a buy one, get one half off sale. So I'm like, oh, Malik is a given. Um, then I think I just kind of mentioned like, hey, you know, do you have Darth Nihilus? And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, oh crap, <laughs> that is a must have for me. Darth Nihilus, I think is one of my uh, favorite Sith Lords just in general, which says a lot about me because I'm not one of the people to really like go crazy over Sith Lords, but Darth Nihilus just looks so freaking cool, man. Like this is one of those character designs that really stuck with me. Um, from KOTOR, specifically KOTOR 2, uh, and then I found Bastila, and I was like, okay, this'll for sure be another one I have to get. Like, like I said, I went to the booth with, you know, pretty, not necessarily low expectations, but not really expecting to get much, and I walked away with four figures, which makes me so happy, because, like, KOTOR is just my favorite Star Wars game, probably my favorite Star Wars story of all time, and it just... It's just so cool having all these custom figures. Um, I've always kind of flirted with the idea of doing a KOTOR mock, and I feel like now like, I'm really kind of seeing that as a possibility that I have a lot of, not say a lot of the figures, but at least some of the most important figures, including the official LEGO Revan figure. So if y'all see me with a KOTOR mock at some time, I don't know if it'd be soon or sometime down the line, you can thank Big Kit Bricks for really kind of pushing me over the edge to making me really want to do that. So these are all awesome looking figures. There's print, you know, all around them, uh, which is super cool. They're just super, super detailed. And I can't wait to throw these guys in a mock. I can't even lie to you guys. And now last but not least, I have the Playmation Hall. The reason I saved this one for last is because this dude is always coming with the biggest of uh, hauls. Like this is, you know, by far the most like amount of stuff that anyone gave me. So I'm gonna put that bag to the side and I just wanted to pour these figures out and just show you, you know, all these figures that Playmation was just so kind to give to me. And um, I'm not gonna say much about these figures just because, you know, I'm gonna let you guys figure out why, why would Playmation give me these figures? You know, what am I gonna do with Tuscan Raiders? What am I gonna do with Jawa Torsos? Why is, why is Ray here? Why are multiple Rays here? Why is there a Luke Skywalker torso? Like what, like what exactly am I gonna do with these? I'll let you guys speculate on that. Uh, and then we'll move to this other bag that I have right here from my guy Playmation. And this one is the even cooler one. So these are some custom parts that he is actually, I believe he's still selling them. Um, go hit him up on Instagram. This is the custom hyperdrive from the Lego Star Wars 1 video game, which is super cool. This is printed, you know, it's, it's almost exactly like it is from the game. And it does actually come apart, which is a pretty uh, nice detail. And then up top, I have the 500 cents price tag. So you can have your boy Watto, you know, showing this off. Uh, above the hyperdrive, the uh, the one that only he, of course, uh, is gonna be the one to have for sale in Mos Espa. Next up, we got some printed tiles, which are from his just incredible uh, Dexter's Diner mock, and it's super cool to have these. Got the printed Dexter, question mark, Padme, and uh, the episode three logo, uh, episode, I'm sorry, yeah, episode one, episode two. So you can kind of have these above the door, you know, if you wanted to make your own cantina, which is something that we may or may not have in the works. So look out for that. Uh, and then finally, look at this. Look at all these posters. Got this, the Pod Racer poster, the iconic one from the video game. And he sent me so many of these. Once again, like, play, like why, why did you send me all of these posters like what am i supposed to do with all of these pod racer posters dude like what are you what are you trying to push on me you know like like what's going on here uh and also i guess this is worth mentioning i think this one is the one from the original game and this is the one from complete saga for whatever reason they took the price tag off so you know, there's two different versions and you can kind of have you know either one displayed so it was cool for him to send me one of these as well um but yeah, dude, I don't, I don't know why you sent me all these. I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to do with all these pod racer posters. So I'll let that be. But uh, really, guys, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed checking out this pretty awesome haul that I got from Brick World Chicago. I know this video is a bit late. I went to Brick World like a couple weeks ago, uh, but it was one that I definitely wanted to do because I got so much cool stuff from Brick World. And now that I've done this freaking haul, I can actually start opening up these figures now and playing around with them. 
So that's all I got for you this week. If you like what I do, go ahead and support the video by hitting the like button, support the channel by smashing that subscribe button. And I'll be back again very soon.